Okay, now we are heading into question number two. In this question, uh, I consider omitted variable bias in the, in the, in the standard leading example of endogeneity, uh, education and uh, earnings. Here, the problem is in ability, which is not observed. So, epsilon is fine. Epsilon is uh, just uh, noise, pure, independent noise uh, at a term. But uh, the problem arises because we do not observe something, something which is important. And so, this is the true model. And this is another true model. We consider that education, when you, when you choose whether to attend college, for example, you take into account your ability. So ability must affect your education decision. So these two uh, uh, equations make a system of equations uh, that we assume. And as I said in question one, this is the estimating equation. You are not sure if it's right. So this is an equation that you, you have to handle because S is the only variable you have. So there you have no other choice but uh, estimating this, then you have to study if this is correct or not. Then again, uh, I recommend in general, it's a better, better idea to start from what you assumed. Like for example, uh, uh, the earlier questions, like, let me see. So here, uh, Karen, Karen uh, considered this equation first. So then, uh, then in the end, you get to epsilon tilde equals something, but there is basically no difference. It's uh, it's the same thing as what you start from, and what you need is this, and this is not from this derivation. It is from a totally different uh, equation. So. I don't know how how these two lines are connected. I can I don't see I don't see the reasoning rationale between them, but uh, but the, the reason is because this equation is unknown. Simply we do not know how this equation behaves. But uh, uh, Karen started from uh, this equation, so something is not going well. Maybe let me see. Any comments? That's fine. Uh, also here, uh, Ahmad considered this way. Another problem here is, uh, I don't know their relationship. Like there are four equations, five equations. But what is what? Uh, like maybe one implies three or one and two imply three. So I don't see the, the how they proceed. So please write something, what and what imply what. I cannot understand if you write that way. Uh, anyhow, so let's go back here. And you can show that if you, if based on these two equations, use these two equations to show the property of these, this estimating equation. And then it is easy to show that, like just replace, uh, no, 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 just uh, so replace uh, this, like I'll replace epsilon tilde with this much. Then obviously that's that, right? Or you may uh, rewrite a as a function of s and then plug that back into uh, back into a. Then you will get a similar equation. Then it is easy. Uh, the misspecification bias, it's simple derivation. I'll pass it. Uh, guessing the misspecification bias, you can tell the direction of these guys. Variance is positive. You can, ask, you can guess what is gamma. The sign of gamma and the sign of delta, uh, like lambda, excuse me. Then you can guess the sign. And, uh, and what is interesting here is what you need is uh, u because A is the 
A is the common term in the error term and inside S. So U is the independent variation in S that's uncorrelated with this error term. So, so this shows that U is uncorrelated with each of the error term in the second stage. So it is, if you could observe U, that is a, uh, uh, that can be an instrumental variable. So it's another approach to think about this question. And let me briefly uh, mention question three. This is an incomplete question. I think I, uh, I don't remember why I made up this question. But what I want to show you here is, what I wanted to tell you here is that this assumption does not help. This assumption and this assumption and this assumption does not help. They are normalization. So like we considered uh, location normalization in chapter one, these demeaning like mean zero is uh, normalization does not provide any information about alpha and beta. But what you need is this and this. You only have, even if it looks like you have one, two, three, four, five, six uh, moment assumptions, but actually you have only two moment conditions that are informative about the parameters, right? Other guys, I, I made a comment on, like, on your questions. As you can see, the form becomes like this. Something equals beta times something. But the problem is, this is zero. So it has no information. So in the end, the moment condition you, you use for uh, identification is this and this, only two exogenated assumptions. I want you to uh, realize that from this question. Okay, let me continue in the next video.